Hello, Prashant here from Transpacific Software. Uh, this video is about illustrating how we uh, integrate RapNet feed into a website. Now, this um, feed we generally integrate within uh, you know multiple uh, platforms. I mean, we can do it on Magento, uh, Open Open Card, PrestaShop, um, even the Shopify but not on any Microsoft technologies as we don't work on Microsoft's technology. So even in the WooCommerce, yes, WooCommerce is also included. Now, uh, typically, um, RapNet provides its diamond feed in two formats. One is web services, wherein as and when required, I mean, the, uh, the data is pulled from the server um, and everything, all processing of pushing the data happens on RapNet server. The other one is DLS services, wherein you can download the data from RapNet and then reinsert it within your website. So there are these two different services. There is, uh, as far as um, data control goes, it's much better in DLS services because you can download the data and that same data gets inserted within your um, uh, local database, um, which could be Magento or PrestaShop. But as far as our information goes dls uh, subscription is now stopped and um, web services which is uh, really uh, readily available so assuming that you're going to use a web services this is how the first screen looks like uh, the data gets uh, um, on the fly gets accommodated over here and uh, we completely design this page uh, the grid grids and everything this design can be changed as you like um, and we encourage you to change it we don't uh, want to do a run of the mill kind of a uh, plugin so we encourage everyone to have it, its unique design so some creativity comes in um, overall these are the filters the shape filter price filter color cut fluorescence and so on we can add additional filters also uh, there are two types of diamonds I mean like white and fancy so mm, this is for fancy diamonds and it's for white there are different costings for white diamond and fancy diamond um, because the manoeuvre uh, the designing time everything increases with these two type of diamonds uh, depending on re your requirements you can suggest what you want then certificates gia hrd th so this all uh, filters and any additional filters also can be done then these here are the you know the info blocks which we strongly suggest that you should have for a quick reference of the user the reset and so on so this is one screen the next one is this um, here you can select this diamond here is a quick view and the next one is the detail page here we have a representative image um, and here the dimensions which the in real time this dimensions get superimposed on this schematic diagram um, here are the product details again this layout can be changed as you as you like and uh, you can then continue to add it in the card and move on now there are other functionality is also involved this is the card if we go back we go back on the search choose this diamond the currency can be changed as per your requirement gi report which directly hits the gi server and pulls the report over here it takes bit time depending on GIS server traffic but here is the report okay now here are some options you can add this ring add this particular stone to a ring and then continue designing your ring continue designing your pendant and card but this module consists of only buying the loose stone the other modules add to your ring and add to your pendant and add to your, uh, add to your pendant are out of the scope of this particular video we do it in as a separate additional modules and then you can buy this uh, like a regular diamond a regular product and you move ahead with 
add to cart and uh, the process goes on right till the purchase of this diamond okay here you go and then it goes on the host e cart e commerce platform whichever it is like it's magento or presta shop open cart then one can buy the stone depending on this so this is the entire uh, the module functionality of module which we will introduce over here so, uh, so thank you